Christian Church of America and the world, God gives nations leadership that they deserve. And it's all based on the level of sin in the nation. So Trump is the best that you're going to get from God in the political realm other than Christ returning. So God, I don't know if you remember this prophecy or if you even seen this prophecy, but I'm going to I'm going to bring it back up again onto my channel to remind the Christians that God gave Trump to the church as a gift, a conditional gift, whereas God was saying that Trump had a wicked way in him that God will remove and turn to righteousness if the church prays for Trump. Trump is not a perfect man. He has a past. Yeah, whatever. Just like all of you and me, we all got past. So we need to stop judging and start praying. Because if we don't pray for Trump, that God guides him and that God uses him, Satan is going to guide him and Satan is going to use him against the church. And then there'll be tribulation like you never seen, like you, you never believed. So God is holding the church accountable and responsible for praying for church, for praying for Trump, I mean. So we need to be praying for Trump 24 seven that God changes his heart all the way to righteousness and that he will listen to righteous people only. Cause from what I'm hearing through the Patriots, He's listening as well as the Patriots. They're all listening to fallen angels because fallen angels can shape shift and they can appear as dead saints or they can appear as uh, people from other planets. And we all know that's fake. And they're here saying, oh, yeah, we're here to help you against Satan's forces. And they're all on Satan's forces. They're all control opposition and they're all part of the strong delusion of second Thessalonians. You need to check that out where people on the earth, if they kill you, they will think they did God a service. So that means they fell for some type of deception and the deception is coming from the fallen angels. And a big thing that they're doing is the whole disclosure thing. You know, all these alien races and all this garbage, all this junk has already been prophesied what happened in the Bible. They're going to bring out all these half animal, half human hybrids that they've been making in underground bases and is going to say that they're from other planets. You know, the book of Enoch said the planets are, are stars. They're living beings. They're not somewhere you can go and live. You got a firmament up there and, and that's keeping us in. So ain't no rockets going into the second heaven. Maybe they could get in there with fault, help of fallen angels, but no one's going to the second heaven with a rocket and definitely not going into the third heaven where God's throne is. So all this deception has already been laid out. You know, Trump is the best you're going to get from God in the po political realm. You know, we're not supposed to put all our trust in man. Of course, we're putting our trust in Jesus. But Jesus gave us somebody that will work with us here and we were supposed to pray for him not sit there and judge him or dig up his past and all this stuff. This is hypocrisy. We need to be praying for him, that God will change him. You know, I mean, come on, that is, as close as you're gonna get, close as gonna get, and went against abortion and things like that. What president we ever had did this? I know he went against the human trafficking and all this stuff. I mean, whatever president did that, he did a lot that a lot of presidents didn't do and not perfect. And the only reason he's playing along with the, you know, the poke, is because some of you are so brainwashed, you're gonna go and get the poke anyway, you know? So he had to do that and play along with it just so we can get the economy going and everything don't be shut down. And then you be not able to do anything, not able to go anywhere, you know, like, like in slavery. So that's why he played along with that, with the warp speed and all that stuff. But we're supposed to pray. And here's a prophecy that was already released that you probably didn't know about. And I'm going to play it again for you to remind you our job and our responsibility is to pray for Trump, not to judge him, but to pray for him. I can't stress that enough. You know, forgive me if I sound like I'm on the soapbox, but I'm just frustrated. All these people just pointing at all Trump's warts instead of praying for him. So here's that prophecy again. I'll play it for you. 
uh, the Lord has given this man as a gift, as, as a seed form. And if the church does not pray, the crooked way that's inside of him, the tendency, the potential for him to falter and to fall back on things that he promised that he would do, we're in great danger of this. So I want, I want to put that out there. So that the full statement.